Theo, you play an incredibly badass character. You literally have us rooting for Jordan the entire time. Um, what drew you to, what drew you the most to playing this character? Ooh, oh gosh. One thing, <laughs> um, well, I've never really played a lead before. This is kind of the first, like I've, I've been in ensemble casts. I've done like big supporting stuff and, and you know, uh, like I've done serious regular stuff before, but I've never like, been somebody who's really focused on and featured in a film and that was intimidating um but i was excited and i was like i deserve this and i deserve this challenge um and also i was really excited to play a character whose gender identity is more aligned with mine mm -hmm. uh my background is that i played characters who are more mask than i identify as in real life and so that kind of felt like i was able to break out of that that you know idea um, that a lot of people I know kind of have of me, uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, I, I felt very empowered by getting to play the, the character as well. And I really felt yeah. like I got to bring a lot of myself to it. Um, so it was great, great challenge. Austin, I was obsessed with Toby, also the entire movie. <laughs> uh, this felt like it was a very fully realized performance. Uh, I wonder, was it challenging to play such like a warm and lighthearted character in a horror movie? Um, I wouldn't say that it was a challenge to play the warm, the warm hearted, but it was a challenge to go from zero to 60 from like very, very, very happy go lucky to completely. Right. <clears throat> um, <laughs> that was, that was a little bit of a challenge. Um, but, I, but ultimately like I learned so much just from playing that character because you know, he is just so proud and just so out and so does not care. He's 18, he about to graduate, it's over. Send me my, you know, and he agreed to go here to get get to New York. His parents are gonna send him to New York if he can just make it through the week. Um, and I mean, that he's smart, he's cunning, he's conniving, um, and, and he knows what he's doing. So uh, yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun to play somebody that's like that because naturally, Naturally, it took a minute for me personally to get to a place of like acceptance, but like, I'm, I'm fully out. What are you talking about? Seeing <laughs> Toby honestly was like, you like made him so three dimensional. Oh like, God, right. seriously. Yeah, I don't, seriously. Right. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a character that could easily fall into a certain archetype, and that's why I pointed out that it was very fully realized, and that's why what I like the most. Yeah, wow, this person you. had layers. Yeah. Oh like, my seriously. gosh. Yes. You... <laughs> yeah. uh, Scott, uh, we're in an era where audiences are craving more movies centered around LGBTQ characters. As a producer, can you talk about the challenges of putting together a movie like this? Well, you know, the, the challenge was more in the past because when you know we had Blumhouse who was well I mean let's let's hope it continues right um, you know I was like how is this gonna happen but we already had Blumhouse behind us and with a juggernaut like Black Blumhouse how you know how could we fail Peacock comes along right the way that the way that everyone everyone involved in this uh, was so for it, chose this because of the LGBTQ content, not despite it, right? Didn't see it as a liability, wanted to celebrate it. Um, you know, I feel like I somehow managed to be right on the tipping point. Um, and I, what I really hope is that the success of this film, and this film will be a success from the writing to the performances, you know, Absolutely. to the way that the audience is going to receive it. I hope this sends a really clear message to Hollywood that we need to let our actors be out. We need to let our queer creators come through and we need to tell these stories that haven't been told before. Absolutely. Theo. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Theo, we can't give anything away, but Jordan's message to anyone watching this movie is very powerful when the story concludes. Do you hope that some people will walk away from this movie with a different perspective or having learned something new, perhaps? Absolutely. Um, depending on who the audience member is, I would love if people could feel empowered to be themselves. I would love if people who maybe have echoed some of the really phobic statements in the film might be like, oh, I see how this affects queer people. Maybe I should think about this. I want that to change. Um, I also want people to take non-binary people more seriously. Like, 
you know, there's obviously been a little bit of press around the film already. And like, I have already been harassed by people online about my pronouns. And I'm like, fuck that. Like, I, I want people to see that like I'm a human and that people who did, if people who are like, I don't use he or she pronouns, I use something else. Like I really want us to be taken seriously. And I also want yeah. people to feel entertained. And I want horror scholars and people that are obsessed with horror to just eat it all up 